Nerdy Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89. Today's manga Nerdy Live reaction video is going to be for Kimetsu no Yaiba chapters 117 and 118. And um, last time I covered Kimetsu no Yaiba, we got to see the embodiment of hatred and evil. And oh, he is adorable! I, I can't believe it. And he asked Tanjiro, he was saying that Tanjiro was evil because he was, he was, uh, um, uh, trying to destroy something like smaller and weaker than him, but it's like, wait a minute! And, and Tanjiro said this too. Tanjiro's like, wait a minute, you, you, um, we're talking about someone who has eaten um hundreds of people that are way weaker than him. I, that is so fucking hypocritical of you, dude. And I was like, yes, thank you. Anyway, let's get to this chapter and see what happens next. So it looks like we're going back to the Tokido fight. So this chapter is titled Swordsman. The bubbles in the water represent a voice that reaches no one. The air, um, the air left in my lungs, there's enough to get one attack out. Tokido is entrapped by Gyoko. Breath of mist, first form, hanging uh, sky, distant mist. Oh, it ain't doing anything. I can't use tr uh, thrusting techniques to break it. Oh my god, that is so much phrasing going on here. But of course this is a chip blade. I can't, it's over. Thanks for cheering me on, um, Oyakata-sama. But I'm going to die now, so good luck filling up that second pillar spot. Why do you think that? Um, hold on a second. Here we go. Um, nobody knows what the future has in store. What? Wait, Tanjiro never said anything of the sort to me before. So who said that? It looks like Tanjiro. But, who? What? So why are you desperately defending this rundown shack? Ugh, I can't imagine the village chief being in this place. Hmm. This is great iron. This is a great blade. I've never seen such skill. Astounding. A young human, huh? His flesh looks younger than 40 years old. He can't be the chief. Hey, human. Who made this thing? If someone can forge a blade like this, then why would he leave this this one character but not his name? But I understand, I really do. Um, this man. That's some serious concentration. He's so immersed in his work that he hasn't even noticed the marvelous Kyoko! Oh my god! You gotta admit it that right here, this is very, very Inosuke, very Azui like right here. Um, he he makes me angry! I've never been able to concentrate that hard before! I can't lose to him as an artist! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, Kyoko! Jesus! Ki oh no, it's the evil Goldine! Or are they evil magic card? I want to know what you guys think in regards to that. Uh, Hagane Zuka-san! Dude, his mask broke. Look at Hagane. Dude, Hagane is so beautiful in the face. Oh my god. Th this man just won't stop! The reason why he didn't carve his name on a blade this marvelous is because of this one character. His one sole purpose for making it. This blade was forged with nothing but that in mind. Hakane Zuka-san! He pisses me off! I mean, I could kill him and that would make him stop, but I really want to make it, this man ab abandon this blade. I want to kill his concentration. My vision is starting to blur. Dying already out of air. You're the only one who could decide your fate. But... There's no point in telling me that. Things will definitely work out. Don't give up. Someone will come to save you for sure. What the? So I have to depend on someone else in the end? Uh, that's the worst case scenario. You can only do so much when you're alone. That's why people have to work to, uh, together and support each other. Nobody's going to save me. They're all weaker than me. I should have worked harder, but I made a mental error. Tokido is being a stubborn asshole. God. I subconsciously overestimated my own strength because I was a pillar. You're not wrong, Michiro. You're still okay. But I'm dying because I made a bunch of mistakes. You can't die! Come on, Tokido-san! I'll get you out of there for sure! I'll save you, dammit! Shit! What the hell is this thing? It's so boingy and gross! <laughs> Even I can't cut through this thing, so there's no way you can. You have bigger problems to worry about. Go protect the chief! It may be impossible for you, but just grab the blade you're holding and run! Oh, shit, behind you! Oh, I know! Hey, behind! <gasps> yeah! Uh, oh, shit, blood! Shit, what the hell are you doing? Run for it now! The solar plexus! He got stabbed in his vital point! He's dead! You can't do it! Why don't you get it? Just cover your rooms and run for it! Don't get 
closer to me. Don't try to save me. There's no way you can do it. Dude, he's drinking it. Helping other people also ends up being beneficial for you. And people are living creatures who can draw out unbelievable strength for someone else's sake. Um, uh, Machiro. Yeah, I know. Breath of mist, second form, layered mist. Break the water and make it mist. So now let's get to chapter 118. I remember now, Tanjiro. Um, my dad had the same red eyes as you. You in Muchiro, the string of memories from his face. Oh my god. Cough, cough, cough. My father was a woodcutter, and I, his son, helped him cut trees too. <sighs> Yuck, numbness really bad. This needle, it didn't get out of that water container. If I didn't get out of that water container just now, I would have. Don't think about things too strictly, Muchiro. The moment you regain yourself, you can get even stronger. Um, are you, are you caught us on his face? Seeing his disease progress is, pain, is painful. Kotetsu! Uh, Kotetsu-kun! Oh! Get him! Get him, Tokido! Lungs hurt! There's water in them! Mom! Uh, Mom caught a cold uh, which turned into bronchitis, so she died. It was a stormy day. My dad went to get medicinal herbs when he fell off a cliff and died. Tokido-san, forget me! Go help uh, Hakanezuka-san! Protect the blade! My parents died when I was 10. I was alone at the age of 11. No, no, I was alone at the age of, uh, sorry, I was uh, alone at the age of 10. No, no, I was alone at the age of 11. I had a, tw what? I had a twin! My older brother was um, was named uh, Yuchiro. Compassion is, um, is useless to humans. No matter what you do for someone, it won't do you any good. No, doing good for others will come back to help you. That's what Dad said. The words of a man who died trying to help others are useless. Why are you saying that? Dad was trying to help Mom. Herbs weren't going to cure her when she reached that condition. It was extremely dumb. You're so mean, Nissan. If he didn't go out into that storm, only Mom would have died. Don't say it like that. That's too harsh. I'm only telling you the truth. You're making too much noise, so shut up. You'll call a bore here. Jesus Christ. Tokido is an asshole! The Mew in Muchiro is the in and ineffective. There's no point in having this conversation. The past won't change. The Mew in Muchiro is the in and invalid. My brother was a painfully frank person. I feel like I turned into him when I lost my memories. Living with him felt like a living hell. I thought he hated me. I thought he was a cool person. Oh my god, it wasn't Tokido. It was his twin brother who was a douchebag. I'm sorry. <laughs> When spring came, someone visited us. It was um, Ayakata-sama's wife. She was extremely pretty. I thought she was the spirit of a white birch the first time I saw her. In the end, my brother unleashed a verbal lashing and chased um, Amani-sama away. Wow, she said that we're descendants of swordsmen. And apparently we're amazing people who can use the first breath ever. Not my problem. Just go get the rice. Jesus, brother's an ass. He, hey, let's be swordsmen. Let's save everyone who's suffering under demon, under the demons. I'm sure we can't. Are you saying you can do something? Can some weakling who can't even cook rice alone become a swordsman? Can they save someone? Stop spouting nonsense. You're just like mom and dad, and that's bad? You're way too optimistic. What's going on in that head of yours? Mom broke down because she kept working without telling us that she was feeling sick. Dad went to the storm to go get herbs. Even when I told him to stop, even mom kept telling him to rest. Saving people is something only chosen people could do. We're children. You think we could do something just because our ancestors were swordsmen? Yes? Want me to tell you what we can do? Here's what we can do. Die like dogs out here. Uh, sorry. Die like dogs out there because we're mom and dad's kids. That woman is just using us. She has to be planning something. We're done talking about this. Got it? Now go get the food ready. We just stopped talking. Amani-sama kept coming to our house. My brother poured water on her once and we fought. Summer came. It was really hot that year. We were both really mad at each other. The nights were hot and the cicadas cried. Um, then the door opened while we were sleeping and a demon came in. Shut up! Shut up! Stop talking! You people are just poor woodcutters. You can't do anything for anyone. Whether you exist or not, nothing changes. Truly worthless lives. His eyes were deep red. I felt a 
something for the first time in my life. It bubbled out from the pits of my stomach. I actually can't remember, or sorry, it was an intense anger. Um, I can't actually remember what happened after that. I had, uh, I never thought I could be able to, um, be, I, sorry, I never thought I could be capable of howling as fiercely as I did. And when I came to, the demon was near death. Even though I, its head got crushed, it was still struggling, like, uh, struggling. It was like it couldn't die. But the morning sun came, the, but the morning sun came up, and the demon crumbled to dust. Although I didn't care about that. I just wanted to go to Yuchiro, but my body felt as heavy as lead. My house was just in front of me, but it took me several hours to get there. Nissan, you're, al you're alive. Nissan, to your gods, Buddha, please. Please just spare my brother. Unlike me, he's a really nice kid. He wants to be useful, and I got in his way. I'm the only bad one. If you're giving punishment, just give it, it, it to me. Oh my god. I'm gonna cry. This is so sad. I knew the whole time the truth. The Mu and Muchiro is the end in infinity. If you ever do something to help others, you can bring out infinite strength! The Scar! There's the Scar! The Scar is for it appears with his resolution and power! There it is! The Scar! You are a chosen one! Oh! Oh my god! This ch these chapters were so good! Like, it, it, oh man, it explains why Tokita is the way he is. But goddamn. But goddamn it! I wanna, like, dude, if Tokido and Tajiro are like brothers, that'd be fucking sweet. But I think they're more like distant, if anything, they're cousins. They gotta be cousins or some shit. Anyway, let me know your thoughts about these chapters in the comment section below. And uh, remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigan Zinc if you love what I'm doing and want to contribute to my um, channel expansion. There's a few ways you could do that. You could donate to my PayPal, Patreon, um, GoFundMe. Purchase something off my Amazon wishlist, all that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, and friend me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later.